Another episode of Down in the Blocks. Chris Young, Tom Crump here at Grand Traverse Pie Company with our basketball savant, Mark Dodson. <laughs> we got a great trio, a yeah, trio, me included. We might have another guest popping in here. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, we're talking college basketball. We're talking Dusty May. We're talking, let, let, let's just start out with this little topic. We won't delve into it because this is not our area of expertise, but. Uh, Michigan, Michigan State hockey last night. What Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll suddenly I'm a hockey fan. Right? Yeah. I, I can honestly say I was never a hockey fan. I was never a fan even when the Wings were going and winning Stanley Cups. Yeah. But, man, I just I couldn't turn off that game yesterday. After right. that first period, man, it was so exciting to watch them here's play. My, here's my takeaway right now. So, all of a sudden, Michigan, Michigan State people are going at each other, you know, on, on you know, mm -hmm. social media and stuff like that. They did a little bit leading up. It's, it, it, can you imagine what it would be like for basketball or football? I mean, it, people would be needing to have some level of oxygen to get through the game. Cause, cause what was that? What was that? The, the eighth, that was what the seventh or eighth times they played well, this season. Well, three hundred forty-eight times they've played. Yeah, no, I mean, okay. And, and then the series. This was the sixth time. Yeah, and they just played what, a week ago. Yeah. yeah, in the in the Big Ten championship. I mean, yeah. the, just to have that in in any other sport would be crazy. Yeah, Mark, you watch? Yeah, oh, all of it. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Uh, it, 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 was it was intense, man. Yeah. Anytime you can be Sparty, that's a good thing. It, it is. It yeah. is. But and I, I like. I like. Uh, I, I thought <clears throat> for most of the game, State looked like the better team. Mm -hmm. They outskated him. Was yeah, that the term? I, that's what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. Is that the hockey term? Yeah, they, How do y'all uh, skate though? Like they were quick, what does that mean? Stronger, <laughs> whatever. Yep. Yeah. But then, I mean, but this is the third the third period's been the picks magic. Pixie dust for, for Michigan. Michigan. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Against North Dakota. Well, yep. they, they yeah. It was mm -hmm. next to Pixie Inglands. That that play by uh, Navarre, not Navarre. What's the what's the uh, the guy that made the between? Oh, the, between the legs. Oh yeah, between the legs and a flip pass. Uh, I, was, yeah. I watched. I mean, that, I, was, I, 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 that I, was like Ernie D. Gregorio coming to college hockey. That's <laughs> old man over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely dated yourself on that one. Yeah. <laughs> or Scott Skiles to Larry Pollock. There you go. In yeah. the '86. Uh, mm -hmm. Second round against Georgetown. Yeah. Wrap around. You got a feel for the coach? Uh, Brandon Narado? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, he had some naysayers, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And all of a sudden, everything's good. You know, is it, you know, Michigan State people, you know, uh, two or probably three or four years ago, uh, a friend of mine was at the um, Michigan State Wisconsin hockey game. This is 2018. And there was like 200 people there at Mono. So Michigan State people, now that they're winning, they're all about that. When they win, they come out. And oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, they come out when oh, you for win. for sure. Okay. No doubt about and, it. And, and they're all happy about the Big Ten Championship. Mi you know, Michigan has been to three Final Fours now, or Frozen, frozen Fours. Four. Yeah. Have frozen Four. And, yes. like, my God, since uh, since they won the title in 98, they've been like the eighth Frozen Fours. Yes. They haven't won one. Yep. It's, it's hard to have, and everybody's mm -hmm. measured by national championships, yeah. right? So I think does he got to win it? No, 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 man, you got to go. People need to be realistic. Yeah, Red Berenson, Mel Pearson, and this guy. Hey, come mm -hmm. on, they, they're good. Yeah, they're, 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 they're more talented. This, this is their third straight. Yeah, they're yeah. more talented. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, individually, but these guys don't hang around like these, yeah. like some of these basketball yeah. players. Mm -hmm. They're gone after. So a year is or two. Michigan like the Kentucky of uh, hockey? A lot of want you know? better. But one and done. We're going. But, 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 well, I think what he uses is the one and done. You know, yeah, one and done, two and done. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, talented, yeah. but women. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got well because all they talk about during the whole broadcast is, oh, this guy was picked by the Devils, and this guy's under contract yeah. with this team, and this guy got this and this and yeah. this. It's like, man, all these guys are they just to keep up with this. So they're drafting these kids out of, high, <laughs> out of junior high school. Yeah, yeah, there. basically. Yeah. They basically are. Yeah. Okay, uh, we did our hockey thing. So uh, congratulations to the Wolverines. They will play Boston College, uh, who they beat in the '98 title game. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be in the semifinal. BC is the old. Uh, Ultimate favorite to win the, the Frozen Four in St. Paul, Minnesota. Why is that? Uh, because that's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, well, listen, Boston, I know my limitations. Yeah, I don't know hockey. Boston College is one of those perennial, you know, well, yeah, college hockey you, programs. Quinnipiac. You know, I mean, they, all these teams in the Northeast, they're into hockey. That's what they do. That's, they're very good at that. Or Denver, yep. isn't it? And yeah, Boston U. 
Yeah. They're the overall number one seed, though. That's what you're saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was told. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, I just didn't know. I, I'm, a, I'm about to find out a whole lot about their team. They got a big gap between games. Yeah. Two they weeks. Get, two, because, yeah. Of the, because of the final four. Yeah, they don't play until the 11th. Yeah, it's always the two weeks. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's always the two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So, hey, but now, here, here's your question. They, you, you hear about the, the brouhaha when it comes when it came to the NC when the women's tournament. Oh, the yesterday, yeah. the different three point line. Yeah. How do they I even detect that? As as a player, you kind of would look at it and just kind of get a feel for oh, you know what, that's something something's off about the way just this looks. You spend yeah. so much time on the court. Yeah. You can tell the optics of it that something's something's a little different. I mean, it's like the old Larry Bird story where he said, oh, he's shooting, shooting, he's missing all his shots, and he measured the rim, and the rim's an inch too low. You, right. ju you just know after a while of playing the game. All right. You know, and then they came out and measured it, and the three-point line was off. And both teams are like, eh, screw it. Because, to be honest, it really doesn't matter. It's not like it was a foot off. It, it was a couple, maybe, what was it, an inch off or I something like that. It, yeah, it wasn't a whole lot, so it's like, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And if both teams know about it and agree to it, who cares? Yeah, an inch off. That's somebody, that's, that's super detective type yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's losing your job. <laughs> oh, no, for sure. There's no doubt about that. Someone's getting fired for it's sure. It's a big deal because right now the story is it's just another indication as to how they don't dis how they don't respect the women's mm -hmm. game. And, yeah, somebody's going to lose. broad brush. Somebody, yeah, immediately, you got to let go. Who got to yeah. let go? Ralph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom Crawford got to let go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to let go of women's basketball. Get over to the men's game. Um. I tell you what. So this match, I saw this the stat uh, this morning. I think you saw it too. See why the twelve of the top thirteen scores in the Elite Eight were seniors. Seniors, are senior laden teams. Yes. Okay. Yes. And and you look at a couple of and then there's two elements of this Final Four. I'm looking at the of, of the of the survivors. Okay. You got Alabama, Nate Oates, uh, the former Romulus coach. Mm -hmm. um, so he had uh, nine new players and three new coaches. Yeah. And Which is. I, I didn't. I, I guess I, I knew that, but Carolina I didn't. Has I didn't the same kind of makeup. But I, but I didn't. I didn't put that together that he had that much turnover. I, I mean, that is that, that is staggering. And you go and and, and Carolina's got the NC State's got the same thing. The exact same thing. And so um, you, it's like I always have this blank canvas. We start over every year. Every year. That's where yeah. college bat and college basketball is a quicker fix than college football. You can't. Mm -hmm. Do the blank canvas and college. There's too no, many players. Too many, I, mean, players. I mean, look at Colorado this past year. What did Coach Prime tried to do? Yeah, you know, bring you, in but 40, in 50 new players. So you, you can't can do that. Texas Tech I had a all had a brand new coach and all new players. Yep. And they got the NC2A. Yep. You know. So anyway, what was your thoughts about uh, all of a sudden uh, Purdue was not Purdue. They're Purdue. They're Purdue. And they're was, going to the Final Four. I mean, first Zach, time and since Lee Rose was coaching yeah, back I mean, in 1980. Zach Eady goes for 40. And had he shot his free throws, he'd have been closer to 50 and yeah. made, actually made his free throws. Like, they're so dominant when they give him the ball. And then if they get Lawyer shooting the ball and Braden Smith playing, I think Braden Smith played a much better game, the Purdue point guard. I think he played a much better game in the first half than he did in the second half. The second half, he kind of seemed to slow down his pace a little bit. He wasn't quite as aggressive. If he can keep that pace up during the course of an entire game, and then Edie goes off and then they get Lawyer making a couple shots or you know a couple of their, their four men making a shot or two, I mean that that team, they're going to go toe to toe with UConn. You think? There's, oh yeah, they they will absolutely go toe to toe with them. You think? But if they're missing, Whoa, if, they're, if they're missing shots, what do you, and UConn, what do you got in this coffee? Oh, it's it's a little little something extra there this morning. No but, one's touching yeah. UConn. Oh, I don't no, know. No one's touching. I don't. I, I unless still, they're having an incredibly poor shooting. Yeah, I, I think of the the four teams that are left. I think Purdue's the one team that can give them a run for their money. But if they do what they did the other night, go on a thirty to nothing yeah. run. Nobody can stay with him. Yeah. Nobody Mark, your can. thoughts on Purdue? Your son was a, is a Purdue alumnus. Now, now he's a trainer at uh, Minnesota. Uh, was they, they, was he excited they're, about it? I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That was for you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite word. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking myself. Damn. I, I said gotta, I gotta find another word. You know that's a that's a baby boomer word that's been going on for about thirty five years. Well, I, evidently, I just started to. Oh, you've been, you've been regularity. You got your your your, your quote just picked yeah. up. Any, anyway, okay. um, your quote on absolutely is a year over. They, they, I respect Painter for for this reason. They may not have been they may not have been performing in the tournament the way people thought they should have. Like I don't think they have been last year. Yeah. 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 They're tough, man. Yeah. They check. I, I, well, they're, 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 they the check key to the me is they they check, they defend. Mm -hmm. 
and they make you play. They don't take any plays off. No. Which is something that I had a problem with Michigan, this, especially this year, taking yeah. too many plays off. His old team simply don't take plays off. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference. They Michigan grind. didn't take any plays on this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, no. All right. But, okay. but you know, the, the Fairleigh Pickens, I think, going back to Purdue last year, that's what put them where they are now. That's what drove them from this well, time like last year. Remember Virginia lost yeah. uh, to a Baltimore County, mm -hmm. and then they won the national championship. And they came back and ran the table. Isn't that crazy? Like, like that's, but that's the motivation that these players need. Like, man, look at what we did you last year. You have to be humiliated. You, you have to find something that pushes you enough to get in the gym starting that very next day after you lose a game like that. That's going to push you all the way through that following season. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise they could have gone through, and they'd have been, you know, good enough in the Big Ten, and you know, oh well, they made it to the second weekend, lost in the Sweet Sixteen, and everyone be like, oh yeah, Matt Painter did okay now. Oh, yeah. they, needed, they needed that extra, that extra thing, and like we were watching the, the interview with Edie after the game, like he needed that extra thing of not getting recruited by certain coaches. By Rick Barnes, yeah, he, 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 he needed, out Rick, he needed Rick that. He needed that extra incentive to go out there and, and work during and the summer and work on his game. There, and all of a sudden, yes. it comes out at that. At that, that, at the biggest possible moment, moment. Hey, yes. man, that just that just underscores what I'm saying. Talent. I don't, is there an NBA player on that team? I don't um, think Purdue? so. Purdue. Yeah. And Edie's Not their, really. Edie's their, no. he's their best player. He was an underrated guy coming in. I mean, DJ Burns is going to dominate the YMCA league for decades. But he's not. Oh yeah, no, yeah. There was there was not a lot of NBA players that we saw this weekend. No, quite frankly, for sure. No. You're, mm -hmm. you're not that one. Yeah, and that that Filipowski, pro. There are a couple guys on that on that Duke team that are probably pros. Mm -hmm. Alabama, eh, nobody uh, really jumps out. Really, at you. yeah. Yeah. I mean, of all those well, games, connect, connect from Tennessee is a connect's pro. Connect's a pro. Yeah, He's a pro. Yep. UConn, probably, but you just don't know who they are because they don't just. They just you don't know who they are, but they just they're they just all they're, they they swarm they're just, you they're just <laughs> they swarm you with doers. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like a lot of times they're playing you know six on five or seven on five on offense it and on defense. Like, it's like how the hell did that guy get that wide open? How the hell did they guy they get there and get that steal? It's so like, is Danny Hurley that good of a coach? Yes. Yes. What what makes him Mark? What makes him a great coach? I mean, he coached in high school. He's, he's, he's another tough team. guy. They got a system that they run. They know mm -hmm. who they are and they commit to do, being what they are. They don't take plays off. They uh, and they got good players too. It, it's it's maybe well, I don't say, but like that Villanova team. That, that Villanova team was obviously oh, in talent. 2018. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. They were. They that, were that was that was talent. yeah. But they're good. The, man. The, 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 UConn's not as good as that Villanova team. Do you think? Is this is this UConn team as good as that? No, Villanova? no, no, no. I don't no, think no, so. No, no, man, no, man, no. What not, I'm no, saying no. is UConn team is better than everybody else this year. Oh yeah, for sure. Because there's just a lot of good teams this year. Yep. Unless well, there's a lot of good teams. There's not a lot of great teams. You know that's that's the difference. You Shannon, know, UConn, UConn's a great team. Shannon's yeah. a pro. Yeah, Darren Shannon. Yeah, yeah. but uh, Matt, but is Matt, Love a pro? What does Illinois have against open threes and making them? Well, just taking them. Oh, they take mean, them. They didn't take them again. No, 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 no. You did. You see what happened mm -hmm. the, at the end of the first half, the start of the second half? They had open threes and they didn't mm -hmm. try to ram it in there and they get swatted. That's yep. what happens when you get down. You start pressing. They were down early. Well, I mean, I mean, they had they had great ball rotation and they had open looks. Down early. Open looks. Down early. In the moment you got to them. Oh well, yeah, there was there was definitely a lot of that. Yeah. And that was one thing. You know, all the the talking heads were were talking about UConn after the game about oh how they don't get rattled and how the moment's never too big for them. Well, it's because they've been there before. Yeah. They just did this with yeah, this yeah. exact same team last year. Illinois. Like, Illinois has Illinois. Illinois these guys have never been there. They didn't know what was going on. The lights got too bright. Right? Yeah, They're disappointed. It was 23-23 with 90 seconds left to go in the first half. I mean, how do you get five on one and a half? Okay, yeah. They're, yeah. and then they give up 25 top in a row. Three in the nation in scoring, and you got a 30-0 yeah. on you. How does that happen? Yeah. happen? Yeah. How does that happen, Mark? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. wow. Yeah, that was just bad. Up in the moment, man. Yeah, Brad Underwood. The, the, the was, lights were too bright for him. What he was concerned about. I don't know. And, 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 and they got. And they got really. Who was their go-to guy? They were, their go-to guy is Shannon. Mm -hmm. And when he when he's not go-toing, yeah. in space. Well, he flies on the court. He travels quite a bit, but yeah. he gets away with it. Um, he just he he just didn't know what to do. He just yeah, looked they got, the entire they got, half. How many pros on that team? One. Yeah. Well, Dane so Danger is uh, not going to No. No. <laughs> and, no. And what's the guy? Mehmet, who's the transfer guy? 
Oh, uh, probably the second best player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or the second best offensive player. I know yeah. what you're talking about. He had, he had, he had. He I think Hawkins might, might, he might have a chance of being a pro. Uh, six nine, six ten. That can oh, shoot he, it. That's where you were for a while, right? That's where was a pro. How many, how, many, how many years <laughs> were you a pro? I was a pro for twelve years. Twelve years you played international. Yeah. Yep. So wow. I mean, there's there's plenty of guys that we saw this weekend that can go and do that. I, how many are going to go did, to the NBA? Did you enjoy Maybe that? three or five. Oh, I love it. Okay. I moved overseas when I was 23. Oh, moved back. Was, when what I was, was the best part about that? Being and seeing things that I never thought I would ever see. Wow. I never thought I would ever experience. Were you never. treated like royalty? Oh yeah. Well, well, because you know I was in Belgium for most of my time over there, and you know you play for these different clubs, and you're you're the NBA. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're 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 the rock star. You know, you can walk into a restaurant. Like, you 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 hear you hear forks drop like, like it's crazy. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, it's wild. Like you hear the music screech off and the forks drop and it's like, oh man, you see the guys who just walked in here? Yeah. And, you know, so we were we were rock stars. That's why you're you know? a pretty good run, man. Yeah. Nice, nice work. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh, wow, that's yeah. That's so you know? okay, well, speaking of of the former Wolverine, Chris Young, uh, what was your thoughts on the new coach, Dusty May? I was very happy with the decision. You know, I, I knew we couldn't get Nate Oates. He had signed the contract extension. who was my number one pick. But we can get out of, you know, you can do buyouts according to Mark Dodson. Oh, yeah. About yeah, that. but he had just signed the extension like 48 hours before. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's that's not a thing. The whole Calipari thing was, you know, half serious, half joke. I'm very happy with Dusty May. I think he's got the potential to be around the program for a very long time. Like one of the, the cool quotes that I saw about him is like, I don't have any hobbies. Yeah. I don't do anything else. This is what I do. Well, I, like wake hard, up, hard I, I, I wake up, I go to the office, yeah. I do my job, I go home, I think about my job, yeah. I, I sleep and I dream about my job. Like That's what well, he does. He's got a little freedom in him in that regard. Yeah, and he's yeah. 40, 47, 47. 47. I mean, that's, that's my age. He's manager in Indiana. Yeah, he's two years yeah. older than I am. Like he's, I, I think he could be around for a very long time. If he yeah. wins. If he wins. Okay. But everything How long I, does he have to win? Two years. Two What's years? he got to do this year before the, the, the Michigan Three fans? years. I, I think he's got two years before okay, he starts here at okay. the church. So we're, we're going to do a subsequent podcast, a couple more, uh, once Michigan actually gets a roster that we can talk oh, about. Oh, coaching right. staff first. Yes. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. we, we, we got to get coaching okay. staff first. Oh, yeah, and then, okay, we we'll do that. There's, so there's we, baby steps we got to we got more content to kick around. Yes. But look, as we're standing right here, Mark, what, what, what's your expectation next year from this guy? Play hard. Play hard, you, play, you, play, you, what play, do you want play see smart. Opti- what do you want to see optically? Play hard. Play hard. Play play smart. No, no don't no, take it. No, don't take any possessions off. No style of play. I don't care. No. Whatever, whatever, whatever he's, works. Mm-hmm. He's got to put together a roster. So the style of play has got to be one that's conducive to what his player, what his roster. And he, and he likes to push. push. Yep. He said. Yep. Yeah, but it's one thing pushing with Shannon's of the world. It's another thing. Yeah, just, there's the different Pelicu- levels of the Pelicudas. Pelicu- 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 <laughs> Damn Pelicudas. <laughs> yeah, come on. Gavin Brown. And, he's got, he's, yeah. and, and they're going to be, uh, they're going to relatively going to be new to each other, too. Yeah. I don't even know who they'll lead. One of the problems. But the, evidently work. that works. It's still, We've seen examples that it works. If you if you get lucky. If you, you get the right guys. Put, there you go. Yeah, you, you, you can't. You can't go get the guy that it's their third school in three years and they're a junior well, they're and, they, and they've never done anything. Like, you got, you gotta go. you, like, like DJ Burns, yeah, you make four schools. Yeah, it works. You, you got to. I mean, go. this guy's level, but but it, well, it didn't work at the three previous schools. No. You look That's at the thing. State, it, 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 it's it, you're, you're you're looking at you got to get the grad transfers. Like, you got you got to get like the, the seniors. Is on his what third? Yeah, this is third school in three years. Yeah, but wherever you know wherever he lands next, whatever his next step is. That coach has got a gem. And DJ Horn, man. You know? And I mean, that's, that's going to be. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. 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 You, you got a guy like that. Yeah, that guy's a dude. Who can do everything. He can mm-hmm. pass it, he can shoot it, he can, he can dog it, he can whatever. Yeah. Yep. But NC State was a bubble. T- I mean, they weren't even going to be in the tournament. They were, they were on like, nobody's this was radar two weeks ago. They all over again. Yes. Jimmy V. Yes. They had to play their way into the tournament. Yep. They were, uh, se- what were, they? They were 17 and 12, I think, in the regular season. They had dropped five of six. Yeah, NC State had. Yeah, and 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 they, but they they beat Virginia and the ACC tournament on a on a a, a, a buzzer beater to force OT and they mm-hmm. beat UVA is not very good anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, UVA got in the tournament and the play in, but so that was a big win for them. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden you're off to the race. It's, it's that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Well, a little momentum, a little bit of belief, and look at where they are now. So what's going to happen, Mark? Purdue, NC State. 
And that's a six o'clock game. I thought it would be the that's same. A, or that's the early it's one. Purdue, yeah. I, it's Purdue. It's not Purdue. You can, who's you going to play? Alabama. Uganda plays Alabama. 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 That's a yeah. nightcap. Ooh. That's yep. a 8.50. That's yep. a premium game, man. You think? You think? Yeah. Bama's playing, man. Okay. Yeah, that's I like, why like, they're they playing. Man. Those oh. are one seed versus a four seed versus 11 oh. versus a Bama's mm-hmm. playing. And they're playing without one of their better players. They're, yeah. they're, they're playing. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's something So you think they got a shot? That could open the door for Purdue if Alabama. They got a shot. I don't expect them to win. Okay. Mm-hmm. Purdue, so how about Purdue, Purdue and NC State? That's going to be a yawner. A little bit. A yawner? I, 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 it, it's not going to be the high-flying game. I'm not saying, but it, I think it's going to be Alabama. close. It's, I mean, it's going to be a yawner. It's I mean, not a yawner if it's think, close. Think, think about the, both, the way both well, these teams play. They dribble the ball at the court. If they yeah. get a fast break, they take it. Otherwise, yeah. they pull it back out. That's true. Give that's it to what I mean. Or give it to Burns. That's what I mean. And let yeah. the big guys that, go in there and work. That's, that, I mean. that's how they play. It's the old style of basketball. It's yeah. not going to be the, the run up and down and throwing That's lives true. to people and all no, that kind of stuff like yeah. no. Alabama and Bo- UConn both want to do. Yeah. They both want to get up they're and down. They both want those highlight dunks. That's what, that's what they want. They're gonna, they're gonna push that's fun to watch. Uh, it's <laughs> incredibly fun to watch, but as a big, I want to watch the two big guys go at it. You know, yeah. I want to watch them grind it out. I want to see a, a 57-54 final score right, and watch my, the big guys just go after it. All right, here's know? my question for you. Because I, I keep watching Burns. Yeah. And every time he makes a move, I keep waiting for somebody to go up there and boom. Wiping that stuff and just throwing it into the yep. trash. Mm-hmm. How does he keep getting his shot off? He's left handed. That makes such a big difference. You're so used to going and contesting someone's right shoulder. It's you have, you have to. It's as simple as that. He's got, he, 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 he got, got some swivel took, I, have, I haven't commented to my son uh, yesterday during the game who's left handed. He's you know, nine years old, growing up playing basketball and stuff like that. It's like, watch how this guy's able to get a shot off. He takes one dribble with his right hand, coming this way, spins right back, face to face with the guy, jumps up and shoots it directly over the guy's face, jumping this high off the ground, and the guy contested his right shoulder. Well, how come it didn't work for Hunter Dickinson all the time then? And he's taller. Oh, he's it works for Hunter. I mean, it works. Yeah, yeah it did. It's, 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 it's the left hand, it, it throws you off. And if you, as a defender, aren't thinking to yourself the entire night before, the entire warm up, and every possession, this guy's left hand. Think about his left hand. Play his left hand. Defend his left hand. You don't think Zach Eady's thinking about that right now? Yeah. That's all he's thinking about this week. And that dude, he tries to make that spin move, jump this high against Zach Eady. Yeah, the Zach Eady is going to put that into the fifth freaking row. Can't and jump. He, I mean, he's he's a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, and he's got he's got a big body and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, he's got. I mean, some he's, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's got all the tractor trailer. He's Robert Tractor Trailer without a jump shot because Rob could shoot it a little bit. From you know, top of the key. Yeah, 15 yeah. feet. Rob could Rob could stretch it a little bit. But yeah. and the, Rob, Rob had great feet. Oh, yeah. And he's oh, he's yeah. got good feet, too. Uh, I mean, he's got, Rob, Rob could jump. Yeah, yeah Rob could jump. Rob could dunk. And so I, Rob was yeah. way more athletic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. But the, the style, the way that they move, it's like I haven't seen anybody well, since see Rob that was. Dude. I mean, yeah. he looks built, he built like him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I and they don't even they don't even come close to contesting this shot. He keeps no, getting no, it. Let it he, go. He, it's <laughs> unbelievable. He gets he gets breakaway layups. Yeah, it it's yeah. crazy. Yep. This guy had a but phenomenal I'm you, it's, game. It's his, it's his left. He hand. is going to be the media darling. Can you imagine? Oh yeah. The, you imagine having a media scrum on oh. Run Day on Friday. It will he'll he'll, yeah. he'll be like four deep around. Oh yeah. That's great. Well, he's got that type of personality too. Yeah. Where he's Smiling you know jovial and and, and, and all yeah, and yeah, everything yeah, else yeah, going around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, we we're, we're gonna cover more about uh, Michigan basketball, what happens with Dusty May here on Down the Blocks, Christian and Tom Crawford, Mark Dotson from twenty four seven, our Michigan insider. And uh, Jeremy Norquist maybe can join us next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can take Jeremy, Jeremy up. Mess, he, he, I got, we got to text him, Jeremy. Yeah. He's a yeah. mess. Okay. All okay. right, Jeremy. It's, it's all right. It's all right, man. That's all right. Your okay. text just not going to clear this uh, week, buddy. Otherwise, <laughs> well, it's text not in the, no, no, we're in the mail. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <on the laughs> <mail. laughs> see ya. Out of here.